Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 10th of 2022. Well, it is titled America and the Sea of Serenity. So what do we see here? Well, this is a 3D image. And if you have the red and blue 3D glasses, you can put those on to see our moon in 3D. And you are seeing an image from the Apollo 17 mission 15 years ago. And actually a couple of two different images from slightly different perspectives get can then be combined together to give us a 3D image. And 50 years ago, Apollo 17 here on December the 11th of 1972, just getting ready to descend for the landing on the moon. So here we can see the lunar module towards the center of the image as it was getting prepared to land over very shortly uh, on the moon for our final walk on the moon of the Apollo mission. And the last time humans have walked on the moon in the last 50 years. Now within the images, we see a number of different things, including a number of craters on the moon. Now our moon has many craters while the Earth has very few. And the reason for this is oh, a couple of different things. First of all, the Earth has an atmosphere and the moon does not. So small objects burn up in the atmosphere of Earth. We see those as shooting stars. Those will strike the moon, but would form relatively small craters. The bigger thing is that our Earth is geologically active. We have active tectonic plates. We have lots of volcanic activity that wipes out craters. So that activity will absorb and destroy craters over time. We also have um, weathering effects that occur on Earth, but not so much on the moon. We have wind and water and ice that do not exist on the moon. And those things serve to slowly erode away craters on Earth. And while it may not seem like much, if you take a millimeter away every year from a crater, in just a million years, you've wiped out a kilometer. Now, a million years to us is a very long time. But when we're talking about geological time scales, it is a very small amount of time. The weathering effects on the moon are much less and are in fact are confined confined to those micrometeorites, those little meteorites that we see as shooting stars in our sky that burn up in the atmosphere, those strike and will slowly wear away craters. But instead of just a million years or so, it can take many billions of years to wear away those craters. So the moon has craters from billions of years ago, while most of those on our Earth were formed within the last million years or so. So here we see the uh, lunar lander for Apollo 17. Uh, one orbit before getting ready to descend to land on the surface of the moon 50 years ago, December 11th of 1972. So that was our picture of the day for December 10th of 2022. It was titled America and the Sea of Serenity. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Io. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.